Hello, uh, Professor and the class. Welcome to uh, joining our class today. Uh, my name is Nakwa. Um, before starting the new lesson, uh, I will uh, review the our lesson in next week. Memory SSL. As you know, uh, SSL has two types. A short SSL and uh, long SSL. In short SSL, there are uh, the following slides. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, look at the screen. Uh, how to make the comparative and superlative uh, case one single syllable and triple syllable was ending with Y, E, E, L, J, L, and L, E. We use E, E, L to make the comparative and E, S, T to make the superlative. For example, black, blacker and blackest, fair, fairer and fairest, liberal, liberal and liberalist. For example, um, Hanman is the liberalist in the last. The next, when they are uh, silent E at the end of the positive form, we remove that and uh, at E or at E stay. For example, nice, nicer and nicest, like letter and letters, huh? huh? and Okay. Continue. Other words with two or more syllables. For other four syllable words that do not end with Y, E, O, O, D, D, L, E. And for until with more than two syllables, we use more and small to form the comparatives and superlatives. For example, uh, difficult, more difficult, and most difficult. Next. Where the adjective ends with uh, a Y, we convert the Y into E before adding E O and E S T. For example, prettier, prettier and prettiest. Example, my food is prettier than thân phận in class. This is a one which we suggest on the Wao with the board of class consonant. Um, In uh, the adjective uh, with consonant, vowel, consonant structure, uh, we must uh, double the final consonant. For example, hot, hotter, and musty. H O T, H O T T E O, double T. Yes, wet, winter, and wetness. Double T, double T E O, -E -E and ting, tinger, and penis. Yes. Yes. Uh, except some good, better, and the best. Bad, worse, and the worst. Far, harder, and punished. Uh, the next, uh, starting uh, the new lesson in future tenses. Future tenses, future with will, and future with be going to. Uh, I advise this uh, way to uh, continue the lesson. Another friend 
but this friend has just called to you, and you will answer to your friend. You will say, I will call him back. Or you will say, I'm going to call him back. <coughs> so which sentence do you think this is correct in this situation? <laughs> to know which one is correct. We, when we talk about the future, we have many chance, but uh, let's think about the simplest way. Normally, before you will all go into and the first way to subtract, the first way to distinguish when we will or when we go into uh, your school class student. For example, we subtract this informal or informal situation. When we talk in a formal situation, for example, you talk to another person that you know you don't know about, uh, you don't know about them at all, you don't know about them very well, uh, you talk in a communication situation or even the social situation, uh, all right. So at that time, we will improve the symbol. And when you talk in informal, so you must think from, uh, think a little further. This is where uh, we have two subcase. One is. Uh, the team uh, already planned, and another in the team you don't plan anything. So if you have plan already, for example, if you want to go to see the doctor in the weekend, so you have to do something like you make appointment or something like that. So at that time you have plan in advance, and at that time you will go into. And in another, if you don't have any plan, you just only decide at the at the right time. Uh, when you're speaking, so at that time you will. For example, you meet uh, your colleagues in company and you want to ask him, where are you going? And he answered to you, I'm going to get some coffee. And at that time you answer, okay, I will get some too. So you know, in these two sentences, one is going to, and the second sentence you will, but at the same time. So, why the, the first sentence you go into and the second you grow is because in the first sentence he already has planned to go to buy some coffee before you talking and you answer grows because at that time before he asking you don't have any idea to uh, buy any coffee you just only think about us at the right time you answer to him at the right time you have an idea from him so you use a grow um, in another such case, this is the thing you don't have any plan before. You don't have any plan in advance. So at that time, you will, for example, um, in the conference, you say, ladies and gentlemen, we will begin the conference at 9 o'clock. You know, the conference does mean you already have plan before. Of course, but in this time, you know you go into, but you will. Because at that time, maybe you are talking to many people. You are talking to thousands of people, hundreds of people. So at that time, it's become a formal situation. So you, you will, not you go into. He is doctor, how do you will and go into? Uh, this is suggest I, you, we, they, he, see, it. And then you plus grow, and then you plus the drop with the base from. For example, I will walk, he will walk. And this is no different between I, you, we, they, and he, see, it. And if you want to make this narrative, you plus not after grow, and you can say, I will not walk. Or you also can say, I won't walk if you want to talk to this. And in the question, you say, will see walk tomorrow by changing the order of the verb. And in going to walk, this is subject, I'm, you, we, they, and then you plug the, the verb of to be, and then go into and the verb with the base from. For example, I am going to walk. Or if you want to soften, you can say, I'm going to walk, or you're going to walk. And if you want to it in negative, you, you add the word of not after, after the to be proud. And in this case, we have two, uh, two cases at the word of not. For example, he is not, 
or he isn't also okay. And then in the present, you change the order of the verse to be in the front of the sentences. To understand more about this, let's move to the following sentences, following example. For example, when you do exercise, you don't, you don't have any idea about the situation. You just only know, I will get it, or I'm going to get it, in the situation of the four rings. So do you think what sentence is correct in this situation? I will get it. I will get it. But why? Because we, we are, we are, uh, because we don't have uh, any pain for uh, hanging, hanging for. Yes, excellent. You know, um, <laughs> of course, of course, I'm going to get it. It's also possible. If you're waiting a phone from your friend, and if you know he or she will come to you and you're waiting for that, so you can say, I'm going to get this. But because normally, for most situations, you don't know who will come to you and say, that's how you do I will get it. For another example, I'm going to go on holiday next week, or I go or I will go on holiday next week. So what sentence is correct? The first or the second? In this case, the first, I'm going on holiday language. Yes, very correct because normally on holiday we have learned in advance, in more advanced. Like that's how we you I'm going to go on holiday on that week. Uh, if we you I will go on holiday that week, that is a little strange. So there is some uh, information about uh, contractor, how do you will and be going to and the first way to distinguish between will and be going to. For more detail, let's move to the presentation of this lecture. Hello everyone. So I'm back with the second time to stay in front of the class and I will talk about the comparison between will and be going to. So before we start the lesson, I would like you to help me to join an activities of the class. We divided by two groups and if you are the winner, so we prepare some sweetie for you, some candy for you. So uh, who would like to join? So for example, this is your first group, this one, and this is your second group. Yes. Okay. So we have, uh, I explain a little bit, I have the pinky paper for very manly group. Okay? And I have the white paper for the girly group. Okay? So we have um, the sticker here and here. Right? So totally we have six sentences and please go to the table. And you can distinguish for me which one is the wheel and which one is music for me going to. So I have two groups. I have two groups. Group one over here and group two over here. So group one will stick for me what is will and be going to function. And group two also will and be go in two. So if you have the correct answer, then you will get the sweet. Okay? Yes. So I will give you uh, about three minutes for finish your work. Okay, let's start, everyone. Come. Yeah, 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 
For example, I'm saying that I will get married. But in, in the top of my mind, I have no idea about the uh, bloom, uh, groom, sorry, groom. So I have no idea about the groom. So I will use the will to express that decision. Okay? But I will say I am going to get married that next year. It means that in the top of my mind I have no I have the idea what is the name of the groom. What is the face and appearance of the groom? So it means that I have the well planned action initially. So I use be going to. Okay. And the second difference between will and be going to, this is the purpose, suggestion. Here we can see that uh, to offer, to do something for someone. It means that we want to have the suggestion for somebody. So it's me. Uh, I will take an example that purpose, a propose, or suggestion. So I will say, I will open the door over here. Okay? I will open the door. So this is the suggestion. So will you open the door for me? When I ask you the suggestion, I will open the door for you. So I will use the will for this situation. However, for be going to, we cannot use like that. Okay? And over here, because we, we, um, we can see, uh, sorry, to offer, to do something for someone. This is the function of the will. Okay? So the third dif uh, difference, sorry. The third difference between will and be going to, it is the prediction, but no evidence. And this is the prediction with the evidence. So, for example, that will prediction with, with evidence is, is going to, uh, sorry, here. It's going to rain. Now I just remind to all of you that 
we can use subject plus will, sell plus verb. We can use uh, for the negative, this is the affirmative, this is the negative, we use subject plus will, sell plus not plus uh, verb. And for the question with will, we can use will, sell, subject, and verb. On the other hand, we have the be going to. The formula for be going to for affirmative, it is subject plus M, E, R, plus be going to, uh, sorry, plus go 